In this period of pandemic, many employees are working from home and the companies or the organizations are constantly looking for the status report, what they are doing from the home or what is the future plan. So by keeping this thing in mind, I've just created this project timeline report in PowerPoint or you can call it as a Gantt chart also. And when I click, it will show you I have created a timeline for one full year starting from Jan to December. And then you can put your project names or one project at different faces. You can add it here and then I have added some bar lines here. And then when I click, it will show you the first one. You can see here I just created one simple animation from Jan to February. I'm work, going to work on this particular phase of the project and these are the some details here and then the next click it will show you this simple animation then the third phase starts from April to July then April to September or whatever August to November you can see here this is very simple but effective report to update your company on your project status so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a blank slide, go to insert shapes and from rectangles select this one which is rectangles rounded corner and just draw till the end of the slide. And you can see here the small uh, orange point just drag it inside so it becomes fully curved. And then I'm going to make it shape outline, no outline and then go to shape fill and give some light color you can see here and then right mouse click go to format shape under effects shadows i'm going to select inner which is this one inside top you got this one and then i'm going to increase the transparency level to maybe 75 percent and blur i'll make it two percent or one percent and distance also I'm just going to reduce to 2% so we end up getting this one and now how many uh, faces of the project or what different projects you're going to handle based on that you need to add this many bars so I'm just going to add for example 1 2 3 and 4 bars only for this example in my previous slide I have just used 7 so it is depending on your requirement and then once this is added you can just go to insert text box add the title here for each one i will just say project one control d i'll just put this is project two project three and project four just change it manually one by one and later on we can just give a different colors to it and then I'm just going to select this I'm going to change the font to century gothic reduce the size if you want you can make it bold and make sure that it is a line left and then on the top I'm just going to add the ears for that go to insert again text box I will just say Jan and I'm going to rotate this one. Can you see the text direction? I want something like this. Let me just increase the size. You can see here Jan. So I'm just going to put this corner Jan. Control D to duplicate it. Put this one as Feb. And then Control D, March, April, May, June, July, august september october november and december but we have this much space left so you don't need to worry on that one this powerpoint will take automatically take care automatically the spacing so i'm just going to put this and rename this as december or you can do it later also and then i'm just going to so don't spend more time on uh, manually adjusting that one we can use this. I'm just going to select all these uh, months, then go to format, align. You can see here distribute horizontally and distribute vertically. So I'm going to distribute horizontally. That's it. In one click, it got, you got it. And now I'm just going to change it to 
march just change all the sorry apr change all the months so you can see here i have just changed the names of the months and then i'm just going to select this bar press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to fill with some different color for example i want to just put maybe this color and i'm going to remove the shadows and using this particular can you see here the size don't do this one because sometimes what happens it is you increase or decrease or uh, it's up to you if you're comfortable but i'll prefer you to just reduce the size with this for example you want to put this for jan and feb for example so i'm just going to select that and i'm going to put it here you can see here and then i can just increase or decrease here so this is my jan and feb and then i can add directly here the text jan hyphen feb go to home i'm going to set the same font which is century gothic i'm going to reduce the size and i'm going to put it the left align then go to insert shapes select an oval shape click here and height and width make as 0.2 and shape outline make it no outline and just bring it here at the very first text and change the text color sorry the oval shape to white color and then go to effects under 3d format you can use a bevel shape here can you see here but let me just zoom in so it looks something like this so i want this to be first of all i'm going to give some shadow effect you can see here if you want you can increase the distance and then you can just go and lighting you can give some different one so you can see it comes something like this right make sure that this is the center of the bar then on this side you can add the detailed text for each project or the face i'll just say add your detail text here I'm just going to say century gothic reduce the size maybe 10 and if you want you can give some different color also gray and right aligned just put it here now I'm going to give the animation effect to this then I can simply copy this to the other places for that let me just close this and I'm going to select this, the shape, the oval shape first. Go to animations, enable the animation pane, sorry. Enable the animation pane. And then the first animation I'm just going to add is add animation, go to more entrance effect. I'll just say basic zoom. Can you see here, all right? And if you want to add the animation, the whole, uh, a slide also you can do it before doing this one so i'm not going to do that one i'm starting with this one and then i'm going to select this again and i want to move this particular shape towards the right of the bar for that again don't go and select some different animation that will overwrite always you have to just say add animation if you're going to add one more animation for the same object and i'm going to more motion paths and then just select right here can you see it goes something like this so i don't want this much far i want this one to be hold the shift key and it should come and stop here can you see here and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes like this but this is very slow so i'll just go here smooth start smooth and i will make it to zero timings i will make it very fast 
and click OK. So you can see here it is somewhat faster now. And then I'm going to select this bar, add animation, go to more entrance effect. I'm going to use a animation called stretch. Click OK and effect options just say from left. And this should happen with previous. Now if I play, when I click, you can see here it comes something like this. If you want, you can delay this one a little bit so that, for example, let me just do it. But this is too much delay, so maybe I can just make it 0, 05, for example, a little bit delay. Yeah, so this is okay. Now I'm just going to copy this one at the bottom. And before that, you can give the add animation to this also. I'm just going to add animation, more entrance effects. I will just say peek in and I can just say from left. And this should happen also after previous. So if I play, can you see here? It comes something like this. Now let me just zoom in a little bit. And then using the mouse i'm just going to select only this one so this or you can just click one on this and again on this so instead of doing that one i'm just going to select highlight this two and press ctrl d to duplicate and bring this for example you want to use this from march now i don't want you to do like this because if you do like this can you see here this also is the oval shape is getting affected for that select this shape only and go to format and increase the size you can see here if you want till june and then this animation also you can just increase it till here and then i'm just going to copy this Control d that's it so if i play now so first this will come then second this will come you can see here or if you don't want this animation also you can use if it doesn't look good you can use the animation which is a wipe also for example i'll just say wipe effect wipe i will say from left all right so if you see here If I just play, it comes something like this. So it looks more better than the stretch. So always uh, use the wipe instead of stretch. Okay, I'm just going to select the wipe. And by default, it becomes on click. So I have to just make it after previous. And I will just say from left. So you can see here. Sorry, this one I have to make it with previous, not after previous. All right. And then you can just copy this one again. I'm just going to use my mouse to highlight, press Control D. And this one will go, for example, from June to October. I'm going to select this again, size. Just increase it you can see here and the text if you don't have the space you can just control D and put it this side and make sure to left align this so let me just play now first one will come second comes and the third comes Again, because this is not fully up to the end, so I'll just make it. So that's it. You can see here it's very simple animation, but very powerful your uh, project timeline report for the management. And likewise, we can just change the colors also if you want. You don't want the same colors. You want some different colors. Use some different colors. You can see here. 
and with these colors you have to just change whatever the color you're using use the same color for the text for example let me just select this i'm going to select this orange or whatever the color and this one you can see here all right so you can see here with this simple technique you can do a very powerful uh, timeline or the gantt chart report in powerpoint That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.